Rihanna on to sell 20 million records, had eight top 10 singles, and now she's back with her fourth CD, All I Ever Wanted. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> See your eyes every time I come on here. You have really pretty eyes. Kiss me. <laughs> It'll be like Madonna and Britney over again. <laughs> it is so exciting sitting next to somebody I actually voted for oh, to win, girl. It's nice sitting next to you. Thank you for voting. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so, okay, so you were the first winner of American Idol. Yes. And last month I saw you at the Divas, um, the VH1 oh, Diva yeah. concert. Oh, you with were Melissa there. Etheridge. I was very Melissa excited. Etheridge and Paula She's Abdul amazing. hosted. Yeah. So now Paula Abdul, can you just give me your thoughts? She's left. Ellen DeGeneres is taking her place. Yeah. What yeah. do you think about that? Um, I know. I just I found out actually on the Divas card, but I didn't even know. They asked me to uh, like walk down the line I was like what but um yeah no I was very excited about it I love Ellen I'm a huge a huge she'll Ellen be great. fan she'll be great yeah I mean and it's like it's been on for like what is this like the 13th season it's like wow, you know there's yeah. a lot of seasons so it's like it's kind of cool you know Simon Fuller the creator is always changing things up I think it'll so be good different. yeah another thing you're very Are your feet touching okay <laughs> no it's okay you're I'm so couches. short I'm like wait just, just, just scoot up, scoot up. Uh, yeah, I love that you're very outspoken Kelly about know, you know about the records you make no matter what people think you you do what you want but uh, we were talking about, you know, when Kanye jumped on stage yeah. and interrupted Taylor Swift, and you I know, were very I wrote vocal. A letter. I know. You, you were not happy about that. Now, and you I know, never write letters, so I must have been mad. But a lot of people rallied to her defense, and you. Now, he since apologized. Do you think yeah. that it was an acceptable apology? Honestly, I never, I didn't actually hear the apology. I didn't even hear anything uh, about it, but I, I heard he did, which, I mean, obviously, I mean, anybody with a soul is sorry for something they do. And everyone, like, I'm not even like commenting, like the letter wasn't meant to like comment specifically just for that. It's everyone in the industry sometimes, we're not neuroscientists, like it's supposed to be fun. It's like, you win awards, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed so to be like life threatening. So what would you have done if you were in Taylor's position? Oh my God, I was, I was praying that like Pink would win an award and he'd try to come up there because she'd like beat the crap out of him. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm Texan, so I probably would have said something that I got in trouble for later. later but whatever. But yeah. yeah, no, I was I was really hoping Pink would win. <laughs> but yeah. I just, I mean, it's just the, I, it's just so disrespectful, and that's the one thing I can't handle. Like I get like everybody might not like my records or Taylor records or Pink records, but it's like it's really not about that, man. It's not that deep. You're, no one's curing cancer. Exactly. So and, yeah. I mean, well, you're you are a really strong woman, and and they just had you on the cover of Self magazine, which they was did, yeah. fabulous. Which and, I heard there was like a big controversy. But I didn't. I don't pay attention to the news enough. But I heard there was like, yeah, a controversy around. There was a controversy yeah. about. Were you shocked when you saw the cover? I mean, I'm shocked when I see anything I'm on. <laughs> they like. I mean, it's like I'm a different. Per it's like a twin or something that looks a little different. It is. It's kind yeah. of bizarre. But they well, named they you. Do it. Yeah. The Photoshop. most inspiring woman. And yeah, yeah. they do Photoshop. Yeah. Crazy. Everything. You know. But you they finished? did. They most inspiring. It was very. It was, it was very. Like I was honored. I thought it was really weird too. Because I'm. Does it I have to say like back at home? Are they like? You're Oh, oh they were like, oh, whatever. I could have thought like 10 different people to put on there about that too. So, yeah, no, I don't. And I just think my life, I mean, I'm busy and I do work hard, but I guess I'm around my mom and my sister all the time yeah. and their moms. And I'm like, yeah. I would never be able to pull that off. Like mothers, I have no idea how you do it. So, yeah, they're inspiring. So. You know why, um, do you have a mustard? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I wanted to ask you, congratulations <laughs> on your CD, All I Ever Wanted to Do. Um, and, uh, excuse me, All I Ever Wanted. Now, your yeah. first single, My Life Would Suck Without You, which I love that one. It hit yeah. number one. Yeah. Can you tell me what you were thinking when you uh, pinned this song? Um, you know what? Well, when it was first sent to me, it kind of had, um, it took, it was kind of a different tone, and I changed it, made a little more Kelly Clarkson, which uh, Luke and Max were um, happy to do. And the song is just, it's basically one of those things where it takes two to tango, you know, to screw up a relationship or be dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. And most relationships are dysfunctional, right? In, yes. a, in a very healthy way, but they're, you know, you're always kind of bickering or you're being, you know, whatever weird. So it was just kind of one of those fun radio songs I thought people would uh -huh. like. So we, we sing that song on set all the time and act a fool. We love oh. it. Yeah, it's definitely the one, like, if I ever go to karaoke bars, people are just drunk and singing at the top of their lungs in, like, another key of, like, yeah, another, yeah, it's, like, it's pretty How's awesome. How's the road treating you? Are you digging it or are you not? I love the road. Tired, you love it? I love it. I just, we did just, like, get done with the tour. We had, like, two weeks rehearsals and now we're touring again. Um, but I love it. It's not, there's nothing. We just did the, um, Hammerstein? Yeah. Um, Hammerstein, Hammerstein, I was like,
You must have been. Oh, you were there. I saw. Oh, uh, um, no, yeah, no, it was a really fun show, though. I love the road. Well, I wanted to ask you because you're working with iPhone on something called the Kelly Clarkson yeah. Open Mic app. Can you tell us about that? It's really cool, actually. Um, I didn't think it was as cool as it is now because the, the winners get to go, like, do a sound check with us and everything. Yeah. And it's really cool to, like, you know, get see a kid get up on stage with your band and sing oh. and everything. And they get to take it home, the CD. But anyway, it's like, a, it's like an iPhone app and you, you sing along with it. And it's almost like a Guitar Hero. You know how you have to, like, yes. kind of nail the, nail the chord or whatever? And okay, can we try it? Oh, oh let's do it. it. Okay. And I totally failed because it was like I changed my live vocal is very different, so I'm so used to singing it live that I didn't remember what I did on the record. You, girl, I like bad. that. Do you always yeah. talk at the speed of lightning? I do. I know. Well, I'm going to talk at the speed of lightning. Kelly Clarkson will be back to sing her.